What's up, spectators? Welcome back to an episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We are reunited with Edgeworth, and we are investigating the crime scene in the robot room. Yes. That strange black and yellow thing on the left side of the picture? Note that the same rock is absent from the crime scene photo. Not only that, but before the launch, a very valuable piece of moon rock was stolen. I hear there's lots of research into moon rocks and stardust from asteroids these days. They say the results could potentially have a huge impact on all of civilization. It's like we're in a new space race with every other country out there. So the person who was, who stole it, bleh, think it was our spy? I'm sure of it. Dr. Sykes was probably killed because she was a roadblock in their plan. Unfortunately, the government thinks Prosecutor Blackwell is the culprit. You know what? I always thought Edgeworth and Phoenix were in cahoots because the very first cutscene of the show, when I first start the game, five minutes in, you hear Phoenix on the phone with somebody saying, it's begun, something, something, something. And I always, I don't know, we'll see. It's about as cluttered as my office, but I think it's a workbench. Mr. Nick, I think this must be a kitchen. Look at this photo. See the cute little food processor? What? What? That isn't a food processor, Pearls. That's the Hope capsule. It was scheduled to be loaded onto the Hope space probe that fateful day. The three people who came to collect the capsule discovered the body. The first on the scene, huh? A staff member and two police officers, was it? And they were here to collect the capsule. Which reminds me... Ba -da, ba -da. So they plan to use this bag to carry the capsule, is that right? Yeah, more or less. Say, why don't we stop talking about the case and go... Hang out. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Apollo and Aura Blackwell, I wonder what they're talking about. Edgeworth, did those three people have a bag with them for transporting the capsule? Oh, you mean this? It's a custom-made, shock-resistant bag. But how did you know? Oh, I just overheard Apollo making an inquiry about it, that's all. Hmm. So he's looking into the case from seven years ago on his own, is he? Hope capsule updated. It was at the crime scene seven years ago, launched into space, and only returned to Earth a few days ago. <gasps> oh! There was evidence in it from the murder. That's why they had to destroy it. Okay. Let's see what else there is. Nope. Nope. Ah! What's this? A giant robot arm, maybe? It's pretty big for an arm, but you're right. I think this thing, I think, what? These thin parts here are finger bones. They're even about as long as my legs. And there's a spiked ball and a giant drill on the floor too. Is Aura trying to build some kind of weapon of mass destruction? Massive destruction? No. Maybe she wants to use it to demolish a big building or something. I can picture her gleefully tearing down the street doing just that. I better not think about it anymore. Hey, look at this row of rolling cases. I bet the wheels make it easier for people to move heavy research materials around. I bet they'd be fun to ride around in like a dead body. We could even probably both fit into the biggest one. Oh, you're saying we should go fit squeeze into a box. We could have pros Prosecutor Edgeworth push us. I don't trust him to push us down a flight of stairs. Hmm, the kid in me really wants to do that. Now I'm upset that we can't do it. Damn it, Edgeworth! What's this? It looks like a giant power plug. Hmm. It's attached to what looks like an electric vehicle charging station. Oh, they have a back outlet. You saw it when he flipped or switched? That's a charging station for us robots. We come here periodically and charge ourselves up. Wow, machines that maintain themselves. That's pretty cool. If our batteries run out and we lose consciousness, 
We never know what Miss Aura will do to us while we're down, you see? Nothing motivates quite like fear. Okay, it looks like this side of the room's good to go. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Oh my god, there's so much junk everywhere! Okay. Oh! Oh look! It's a little robot. I wonder what it does. Cleaning, maybe? A cleaning robot must follow a human's orders as long as it causes no human harm. It talks! A cleaning robot must keep desks clean without violating the preceding clause. However, Miss Aura says she prefers a moderate level of clutter on the desk. Oh, what is the purpose of my existence? I guess slack off and cut some corners aren't in his vocabulary bank. Hmm. Aura's desk is a mess, though that doesn't surprise me. Ooh, I just want to dive in and straighten it up. Do it. Do it! Just do it. Do it. Midas. She just glanced over at her desk. That's some crazy... Not bun. It looks like a bun. Looks like a cinnamon roll. Clonko, can I talk to you? I really hope he's back to normal. You wish to speak to me, Mr. Wright? If you're going to hit me, please avoid the face area. Wouldn't want to leave any bruises, is that what you're saying? Don't put me in the same class as that woman! What was Aura like seven years ago at the time of the incident? When Mother died, Miss Aura was... confused. So he calls Dr. Sykes mother, but Aura Blackwell Miss Aura. With the loss, she exhibit, ugh, exhibited a severe... Catac catecholamine? No idea what that is. Imbalance. Excuse me, but I have no idea what that means. Pardon me, searching for alternative expression. She would spend the nights crying and then take out her feelings on those around her. After Prosecutor Blackwell was found guilty, she repeatedly demanded a retrial as well. That is correct, but without new evidence, her requests were ignored. And then, little by little, Miss Aura began to change. She started to hate it when I called her Mama Aura. Well, it's, it's a really bad nickname, so that's probably what it was, so... And before long, she started hating the court system and abusing Klonko. That murder destroyed so many lives! Right. Take a look at this pa paper on Dr. Sykes's and Miss Blackwell's reacher. <laughs> Ponko and Clonko. They're the robots with hearts that Dr. Sykes created. Oh, quite a bit here. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. We'll sum it up. A heartbeat detection system lets them determine when a human is present. In addition, they can recognize people by their ID tag or facial features. And they can infer people's emotions by analyzing their tone of voice. That's amazing. Hey, I don't know, Edgeworth. They might even be more human than you. What's that supposed to mean? It kind of sounds like these robots can do what Athena does. Well, they are larger versions of Widget, so... How about that? Nope. Hmm. Well, it looks like everything around the desk is fine, so we can just go straight to this little chair. It looks like an operating table. It's in the photo, too. Yes, it was here then as well, with the victim's body lying on it. There's a button here. Oh, I know! I'll try pushing it! Oh, you're mad! Oopsie! And we all blow up and die. Well done! The end. I would, you know, it'd be so hilarious if that was the ending. I wouldn't even mind. I'd be go, oh well, that that's Ace Attorney for you. Knee slap. It's moving. Hmm. It appears to be a robot assembly device. Disassemble anything in a flash. Push the dismantle button. That sounds pretty neat. Can I push it, Mr. Nick? Please don't, Pearls. That's cool. Look at it go. And it's gone. An emergency ladder. This must be the one they used during the evacuation. 
The explosion? <gasps> See, the ladder is important because that's also how the killer could have gotten in. Because no one went through the hallway besides Black Will. Boom. The explosion disabled the elevators. So I lowered my emergency ladder like the de detective leading the evacuation told me to. As Miss Blackwell was climbing down the side of the building, she saw the culprit inside. I wonder which would have been scarier, that or looking down. Emergency ladder added to the core record. It was lowered to the ground from the window of the fourth floor robotics lab. Hold on. Okay, use the evacuate space center personnel. All right, got it. Mm, well, I guess that's about it for this room. So what do you think? Right. Any ideas? There are still a lot of gaps in the evidence, but I'll pull it off somehow. After all, you asked me to prove Black Quill's innocence, right, Edgeworth? What? He did? But up, but up, but up. Yep, he called it a special request. Wait, what the hell did he say? I wasn't paying attention. I was singing. You understand? Uh, you asked me to prove Black Quill's innocence. Yes. He reached out to me while I was still disbarred. Edgeworth's request. So that was what sparked you to get your attorney's badge back. Wait, hold on. What? Hold on a minute. There's still a lot of gaps in the evidence, but I'll pull it off somehow. After all, you asked me to prove Blackwell's innocence. <gasps> oh, okay. Interesting. Well, really, you took your sweet time then. The Blackwell case. Right, I have a special request. I want you to clear one of my subordinates of suspicion. Suspicion! Yes, suspicion. Hey, I'm not even a lawyer anymore, remember? Haven't been one for a long time. That eight year misunderstanding has been cleared up and you must be eager to return. I'm sure you're familiar with the other case that ushered in the dark age of the law. <gasps> Very soon a convict will stand as a prosecutor in court. I want you to keep an eye on him. Oh, just when I'm beginning to actually like the job I have now. But you don't really do much, so... Get off your bum! Right. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Because of the espionage aspect, I wasn't free to give you all the details. Hey, no need to apologize. It's like I said on the phone the other day. I know that the type of criminals you're after now aren't small fries anymore. There it is! That's the one I was talking about! <laughs> so I was right. It looks like your target finally- Oh wait, wait. I have to do it in his voice. It... No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Yeah. It's for this very reason I returned. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Time to bring it to an end. Oh, now it does it. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> and he puts on his coat, and he walks out like a badass. I'm gonna end the Dark Age of the Law. That's what this is all about. A boot. The Dark Age of the Law. It sure comes up a lot these days on TV and in the papers. And I hear there are more false charges and fabrication of evidence than ever. That sounds like an issue with the police, so... When I became chief prosecutor, the court system had already lost the people's trust. It all began eight years ago. Please be a cutscene. Ah, oh, a lawyer was caught fabricating evidence. That must be me! And a year after that, a prosecutor was found guilty of murder. Wait, do you mean... That's right. He's talking about my case and Prosecutor Blackwill's. It was a downward spiral after that. An absolute nightmare. After those two cases, the mass media launched an all-out attack on the courts. Public opinion was tainted, and before long, the legal world itself was sucked into it. It's such a shame. Once suspicion forms, it's very hard to shake. Lawyers and prosecutors were supposed to trust each other. Pursue the truth together. It's so sad when people begin to cast out. They start lying to themselves and each other. Yes, and do absolutely anything to win. 
We're in an age now where winning is valued far more than the truth. I'm sure it's caused our new chief prosecutor to lose many a night's rest. Who talks like that? Oh, did you lose sleep for a fortnight? Is it just me or did his brow get even more furrowed than last time I saw him? Hmm. The hostage taker's disdain for the courts is a perfect example of the times. It sure is. Do you have any idea who the hostage taker might be? Well, somebody who mistrusts the court system and who can manipulate robots. It can really only be Aura Blackwell. Who else but her would want a retrial of that case from seven years ago so badly? Simon Blackwell's older sister and the owner of this room. I agree with your conclusion. Perhaps she intended to force Miss Sykes to confess. Actually, I think she had a much more horrific plan in mind for Athena. Turned her into a robot! Woo! The important thing is for you to solve UR1 and prove Blackwell's innocence. And then maybe she'll release the hostages. I'm counting on you, right, to set that prosecutor at those hostages free. And I'll be counting on you in court to help me too. Of course, I'll do everything I can to help uncover the truth. As this isn't an official trial, I'm more at liberty to be a little unorthodox. Mr. Wright, are you finished with your investigation? Yeah, but I'd like you to tell the hostage taker something for me. I have to go to the detention center. I can't start the trial until I've talked to Athena. She's already given her consent. I'll accompany you to the detention center. So I'm still being watched. I'll see you in court, Edgeworth. High five! Yeah! Even if it will be an undocumented trial, it'll be good to face you in court again. She was right by my side only a few short hours ago. But I feel like I haven't seen her in ages. It hasn't it been like a couple hours? Oh, Mr. Wright! I come in here, you're going to jail, buddy! We know you did it! Admit it! And Pearly, too. I knew you would come. After all, the first step is the interview with the defendant. And because you're my friend and I was worried about you. <gasps> We're friends? I've heard people cry like that, or laugh like that. Both, at the same time. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's worried either. Really? Who else? I saw Miss Woods today. She was so beside herself, she came to find me. She told me you used to live in the Cosmos Space Center. No wonder you know so much about the place. Oh, so you know... I'm sorry I didn't tell you. You better be sorry! We could have avoided so much of this if you had been honest, but you weren't honest with me. But there are some other things I'd like to ask you. Sure, you can ask me anything. I promise I won't keep any more secrets from you. Hmm. Well, it's been 18 and a half minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here. So stay tuned next Monday for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!